The Dream Report cost module allows users to define rates and tariffs, that is, methods and definitions for the calculation of cost, and use the results of those calculations in reports. The cost module has support for energy tariffs and billing rates or schedules for utilities billing reports, but can also be used for energy accounting, labor costs, or in any scenario where varying cost rates are required in reporting calculations. The cost module allows you to define simple or complex rate rules to calculate a cost. When defining a cost definition, for example, for electricity usage, you can specify multiple rate rules to calculate costs based on rates for different times of the day, different periods in the year, etc. The date periods are highly flexible, taking into account both calendar and clock periods and special days in the year, such as public holidays and plant closings. Additionally, the cost rates can be based on consumption. For example, for energy usage up to specific kilowatts, you're billed at X, and if you exceed that usage, you're billed at a factor of 1.5X. The steps to create a rate or tariff definition are as follows. Open the cost module from the Tools tab in the Dream Report Studio. Specify the name for the cost definition, for example, water, electricity, gas. Then, if the rates are based on calendar or clock periods, configure each rate calendar period. Add the rate to the list and repeat for the other periods. If any special dates are required, select the Special Date option and add either absolute dates such as May 1st or relative dates such as the last Thursday in November and enter the rate. Note that special date rates supersede other scheduled rates. Finally, add the cost to the list of cost definitions. The cost rates are actual amounts, for example 0.5 could mean 0.5 cents per kilowatt hour. If calculating cost by value or actual consumption, in this case we configure the tariff rate to be a full year period with a base rate of 1, for example. Then, define the meter value limit up to which the rate will be calculated with the base cost. Both fixed and dynamic values are supported, so you could look up rate values dynamically at the time of report generation. You need to define this consumption condition with the reserved dollar sign value. Then, Define another condition which will let you calculate the cost when the counter exceeds this consumption limit. And then finally, add the cost to this list of cost definitions. Once you define one or more cost definitions, you can then use those in conjunction with the counter statistical function, which typically considers meter data in its calculations. This can then be used in the various reporting objects like tables, single data objects, and charts. From the Tools tab in Dream Report Studio, I'll open the Cost module. Here you see a few cost definitions already configured, so I'll create a new one, named Electricity, and add it to the definitions list. Let me remove the calendar periods from the previous definition so I can start from scratch. What I want to do is create workday and nighttime rates for the entire year. These rates won't change based on the date ranges, so I'll set the date to be from January through December, every year. The workday is 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., so I'll set those times here and set a tariff, for instance 1.8 cents per kilowatt hour. I'll name it day and apply it to every day of the week and then add that to the calendar period list. Next, I'll define the rate from midnight to 7 a.m. and call this the night a.m. period with a rate of 1.2 cents per kilowatt hour. And then repeat for the night PM period. Finally, I'll set a rate for a special date that will supersede these rates. The last one Thursday of every November and add that rate. Now that the electricity rates are defined, let's create a custom tariff. I'll use one of the existing definitions as a start, and then we'll modify it. You'll notice I create a base rate of 1 for the whole year, and then we'll create rate multipliers based on consumption or meter readings. What we're doing here is using the dollar sign parameter to indicate that any counter value up to a certain amount 
we'll get a tariff of 1.2 times the base rate of 1 specified above. Then, if the consumption is above 5 in this example, use tariff multiplier of 1.88 of the base rate of 1. And then finally, if the consumption is above 10, use a tariff multiplier of 2.2. Note that these numbers do not need to be hard-coded. Double-click any field to select a dynamic token from your report. Before I use these cost definitions in a report, I want to quickly show you that we're using a data model to alias our meter names from our energy data source. This will make things a lot easier to follow when configuring the report objects. On a blank report, I'll add a line chart. All I want this chart to show is our AC meter raw data. This will give context to the cost calculations relating to this data. We'll look at meter readings for the last one week. Now I'll add a step table. This table will break down the data by day for the last week, showing electricity consumption, and then the associated cost for each day. Let me add column names. Next, I'll show the date in the first column. Then for kilowatts, we'll choose step data, name the calculation, choose the AC meter tag from our data model, and then select the counter statistical function. That will take the reading at the end of the day and subtract it from the value at the start of the day to get the energy consumption. For the last column, I'll repeat the calculation on the AC meter values. But this time, I'll further configure the counter function to use the electricity rate that we defined earlier. Finally, I'll do some formatting on the table. And I'm done. Next, let's add a bar graph. I want to show the AC unit's energy consumption by hour, comparing kilowatts and costs for each hour. The bars will be based on the AC meter tag, and again we'll use the counter function. Here I've added the kilowatts as the blue bar. I'll set the overall time period to be just the first day of last week, and the bar intervals to be one hour. And like in the step table, for the cost value, I'll further configure the counter function to use the electricity rate we defined earlier. Finally, I'll do some formatting on the bar graph. Add a graph title. And I'm done. Let's do some final cleanup of the report and formatting. Apply a predefined page template to make it look good. And then save and reload the reports. When the Runtime Management Console opens, I'll select this energy cost report which is created and generated. When the generated report opens, we'll first see the meter readings for the last week in this line chart. You can see that the consumption varies throughout the week. Then, our step table shows by day the actual kilowatts consumed and then the associated costs, which were calculated considering different rates for the time of the day. And the bar graph at the bottom, broken down by hour, shows relatively higher energy costs during the workday than during the night hours. So here we've gone over the basics of using the cost calculation module and the counter function. There's naturally a lot more you can do with the cost calculation module and the counter function. Taking a look at a few other examples here, we can look at, for instance, reporting on meter to meter usage comparisons. usage and costs over different time periods, looking at cumulative energy costs across multiple assets,
and a whole lot more. Thanks for watching.